Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are doing a whole video on just building a boat. Now that boat is going to be quite small, uh, and hopefully it's going to be quite useful, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That is yet to be determined. Anyway, let's go ahead and get inside the workbench and see how this goes. Hey! Okay, so I want it to be quite small, uh, and in that case, we just need to we need to build this area a little bit big, like this. There we go. Uh, then we're gonna have a whole control panel sort of thing in the middle of the boat. Uh, so if we could do this on both sides, that would be great. So like a little, I don't know, like a little control panel, if if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Uh, with all the dials and maybe even like a like a a monitor or something on there, that would be pretty cool. Anyway, go ahead and drag this this way. That's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this on this side because it's going to go a little bit taller. Uh, and that's going to be fine, I think. I think that's going to be okay. So drag that across there. That's awesome. There we go. Uh, we obviously want to get past it on both sides, so that's okay too. Uh, and, and we need a seat to control it too. So seat, we're going to go ahead and put in a driver's seat, I think. Yeah, actually, go ahead and delete these uh, and put that right there. I think that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to go behind this and we're going to put in some pipes. Uh, and this is literally going to be going up to the roof. Um, and there's only going to be a roof above the driver. So if we do this kind of thing, there we go. And we do this, then we can put one of these on here. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe not on that piece. <laughs> um, go backwards a bit. There we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, we can actually put this piece on here, like so, uh, and drag that across. Yeah, awesome. All right, that's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. Uh, so that'll be that'll be fine, I think. Um, then we're going to actually round that off, because that seems like a good idea. So just do uh, this. There we go. Awesome. Uh, do this as well. And we're actually going to have it continue backwards just like once. There we go. Uh, and that itself should be fine. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and attach one of these to here so it's not so flat. And that's A-OK, -okay. right, good, nice. Now we'll just drag this out forwards just a little bit, that's good. And backwards also a little bit too. Uh, it's not going to go backwards too far, but that's okay, good. Uh, we're going to actually put a case in here. Uh, when I say a case, I mean it's going to have um, some clothing in there. Uh, and the clothing is going to be diving equipment, I think. Uh, so if we can get diving equipment, wherever that may be, there it is. Uh, and we can put that there, like so. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that'll be okay. Uh, then we're going to get a pivot. Yep, I am working on the top more than the bottom, but that's okay. Because we should be able to do the bottom fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't really know, going to be honest. Uh, but we're going to put this, in fact, wait, wait, wait. We can put two, so we can have diving equipment, and we can also have something else. For example, um, thermal, arctic stuff? Yeah, arctic equipment. That could go right there, and that's awesome. There we go. So we'll do this. That's really nice. Go ahead and merge this. Oh, we can't. Hold on. Oh, hold up. Delete these things. Uh, including that one? Yeah, including that one. We're going to go ahead and attach these to here. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's very nice. Okay, so this is going to be a drawer that... Oh, not a drawer, but like a box that you can open up and you can get inside of. I just think that's a cool idea. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this across here. We'll do this across here. If we can, yep. And we'll fix it in like this. Boop. There we go. Nice. So we've got a little box uh, that you can open up and close up. And that's got our stuff in. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so towards the front, we're obviously going to start deleting things and hopefully making this look pretty and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and work on actually building the hull now. So uh, let's go start off with this piece. Uh, we're literally going to put it in there like this. There we go. We're going to have two of those. Uh, and that, I think, is going to be completely fine. Yeah, that'll be, that should be okay. That's going to go down to the middle area like that. Uh, we're going to do the same thing right here with this one. Um, I want it to be sort of flat underneath as well, so we're going to we're gonna stop that right there, like that. That's okay. Good. 
Um, and that's okay, yeah. Then we're gonna switch it on to the twos, because the twos is better than the fours. <laughs> well, not really, but you know, whatever. There we go, good. And then we're gonna switch it to the ones, which is this, and this, and we should have a good shaped hole, which indeed we do. Nice. Alright, go ahead and shove this in there like so. We're gonna do another one. Yep, we're then gonna work on adding these pieces, like that and that. And then we're gonna get a four, which is this one. And we're gonna put it in there like that. Nice! Yeah! That is an awesomely shaped hole. Yeah. So, if we can drag this backwards, that's great. There we go. If we can drag this backwards also, that'd be great. Yep. And this one also. Yep. And this one. Yep. There we go. I'm not very good at shaping the sides of the holes. Uh, but that's okay, because I think what we've got is probably fine. There we go, do something like that. That's awesome. All I really wanted was a small a small boat to, um, yeah, basically pick up passengers with and stuff. Uh, and I think we've got that right here. That's awesome. Alright, so, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and round this bit off if I can, just to make it look a little bit nicer. So, if we can grab this piece and we can put it, like, right there. Yeah, like that. There we go. Uh, that, I think, looks better. Uh, so we're going to leave it like that. That's good. Um, Painting-wise, we're going to leave that till the end. That's okay. Engine-wise, we need to put the engine in uh, in the bottom somewhere. Uh, and I don't know... Hmm. Actually, there might be a better way. There might be a better way. Uh, so the back of this boat's going to be relatively flat. Uh, if we can keep it that way, that would be great. Um, but essentially... We need to just block this off, uh, delete these pieces, yeah, uh, and we're going to sort of round it off, almost, at the back. Um, reason being, I don't really know, but yeah, sure, there we go, that's good, probably. Um, we're going to keep this coming up to the tippity top, that's good, do that, and there we go. Alright, so that keeps it sort of flat at the back, nice. Um, so, yeah, that's probably okay. We're going to go ahead and delete this, and this, there we go, and we're going to have a little section that we can walk down into, so something like that, there we go, yeah, alright, cool, uh, then we can delete these two, and we can put in one of, where is it, one of these pieces, yep, uh, right there, there we go, good, boop, there we go, nice, uh, so that makes the back end look a little bit nicer, I think. So that's, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, we're going to delete this, and we're going to put a button in there. So that we can actually get inside of it. That would be great. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and that is fine by me. We're also going to go ahead and put these two right here. Like so. And that's fine by me as well. Yeah. I'm actually really liking this so far. Um, so this should ski, or like skim across the top of the water quite easily. Because I don't think it's going to be very heavy. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on to, I was going to do outboard motors, but instead we're going to do normal, uh, propellers. Uh, we're actually only going to put, what, one? Uh, I kind of want to put two in, so let's put two in. Quite wide, there we go. Propeller, here we go. We're going to put these little ones in, little baby ones, and we're going to fit them right there. Alright, awesome. Doesn't look the best, but that's fine. Uh, so we come inside, we need an engine. Uh, which is gonna be fine. We're just gonna go... In fact, does one of these fit? One of these does fit. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, because it's too tall. Um, but wow, that would be amazing if we could do that. But we can't, so we're gonna go with one of these. Uh, which is fine. Uh, this should be completely fine. So if we put that there, like so. Uh, we go above, and we delete this. Backwards. Yeah, we can actually put the gearbox in and everything. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Alright, so obviously the power needs to come over the top like this. There we go. Uh, it needs to come backwards. One. There we go. And then we need to grab the angle and come back down if we can. There we go. Nice. Uh, I'm actually going to put a clutch. Um, ooh. I don't know whether I should put it here or not. Because we're going to have to have generators and stuff. So, actually, we're going to have a pipe section. Uh, one of these ones, right there, we're going to put the clutch in, which is going to be interesting. So, pipe, if I can get an angled one, closed, and do that, then there we go. We can put a clutch, 
right up there. Oh, this is going to be perfect. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to have two generators, if we can. So we'll have two of these. There we go. And then we'll have this literally pop straight back up. There we go. And we can put the gearbox on there. Yeah. All right, gear. Do, 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 do. Um, we want it pointing at the engine, so we'll do that. And then we need it poking over the top and attaching to both of these. Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. So this will go to both of those. Yes. Uh, and that is it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Backwards and outwards. And then angle pieces upwards and inwards. Yep. Awesome. There we go. Beautiful. I actually really like this so far. All right. So we obviously need to do the rest of this stuff, which includes... Wait, hold on. I'm going to block that off, uh, which includes the air and the exhaust. They need to be put somewhere quite high or relatively high. Um, so I'm thinking we actually put them on the box at the back uh, kind of thing. Well, actually, the exhaust needs to go up through the roof. So actually, in theory, we could just use these. In fact, that's not a bad idea. All right. Yeah, let's just use these things. So we'll delete this and we'll put that there and we'll put that there. And this pipe will actually be a real pipe. It'll do stuff. All right. Um, fluid. Yes, we need these right there. All right, nice. So our air and our exhaust are going to go through both of those. This is fuel. No, that's exhaust right there. And that's air right there. All right, so turn off that. There we go. Get the pipes again. <laughs> the pipes keep coming out, but um, that's fine. So do that to that side. Do that to that side. Go upwards. Yep. Um, go across. Yep. Attach that to there. And attach that to there. So our air and our exhaust are both in. And they're both going to get pumped out the roof. Or pumped in and out the roof. That's awesome. Right. So coolant. Coolant's easy. Uh, we just get a heat. A heat sink. One of these. We go right here. That's good. And pipe that in. Yep, one, two, and three, and four. Good. And now all we need is some fuel. Yeah, that's it. That, that's that'll be the end of it. Awesome. Uh, right. So we need a fuel tank that's going to be relatively large, uh, or somewhat large, I suppose. Do that there, um, and then cover it up. There we go. Delete these. There we go. And when I say relatively large, I actually mean pretty small. Um, but that there should be fine. We're going to keep it like this for now, at least. Um, but if we need to change it, that's okay too. So do that. Yep. Go downwards. Yep. Go forwards. If we can. Yes. And then drag it forwards all the way into the tank, which is right here. So fluid pot right there. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, get a fluid uh, spawner. Uh-huh. There we go. Good. And then we'll, I guess, just see if it works. We need a battery, too. So we'll grab a battery. Do, 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 do. If we could fit one right here, that'd be amazing. Yes, we can. All right, nice. So, fit all of these together. So, the electricity needs to go to there. It needs to go to each of those. That can go to there. There. Um, this needs electricity, too. That will then need electricity as well, probably from the battery. And that's everything, I think. Is it? Yeah. What is this? Missing on off. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. That's cool that they've put that in the game, though. That's awesome. Uh, right, so I wanted to actually start with a key. So it will. Here we go. Key. Nice. Put that right there. Go ahead and logicify it to there. And that's awesome. We'll have a button on this side to reverse. Button. Yep, toggle button. Put that right there. This is going to be our reverse gear. So we'll put that there. Go ahead and put a reverse in. Yep. And we'll go with two to one. All right, this should be fine. Uh, and it should work. So, um, W and S. Okay, and up and down. All right, this needs a switch box. So we'll quickly put one of those in. Here we go. Put that there. Go ahead and get a number. And put that there. Yep. Logicify this to on. Make this one. 
Uh, logic this to there, logic this to there, and voila! Our ship should do something. Or our boat should do something. Not really a ship, is it? But anyway, spawn this in. Hopefully it floats. Oh, it's so far away. <laughs> it's really far away. We've got no active stabilization or anything like that, but it is floating. So now if we do this... This is literally how fast it goes. Oh, it should speed up. Alright, cool. We need a rudder, though. Because <laughs> I can't turn. I actually can't turn at all. So we're going to delete all of these. Rudder. We're going to shove that in the middle. There we go. Hopefully it's the right way around. It should be. Attach that to there. Attach this to uh, A and D. That's good. Uh, and that is fine. I'm actually going to replace this with 9 to 5. Yeah, 9 to 5. Okay, that's good. Our RPS is fine. Our spawner is diesel. Uh, this thing, I didn't check if it worked, but that's okay. Um, yeah, and that's all fine. So, now we're going to make the ship look a little bit better. Uh, because I want to put like a little seating area at the front kind of thing. So if we can do that, that'd be awesome. Uh, kind of want to do it on both sides though. So let me just quickly do that. Bom, 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 bom. There we go. Awesome sauce. Drag this to the front. There we go. Grab this. Press U. Actually, it doesn't matter. Do that. There we go. Uh, go ahead and do this. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Do that. There we go. And do this. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so our boat is looking pretty snazzy. I like this. This is awesome. Uh, let's go up one more uh, with these pieces. This seems fine. There we go, do that, then do this, and then do this. Now this will make the front end look a bit uh, bulky, let's say. Uh, but that's okay, that's fine. So do that to there-ish, go ahead and put one of these on, and that to me looks pretty cool. I like it. So, uh, spawn it in. We should be able to drive it left and right, and also forwards and backwards. And we should also be able to open up this thing. Yeah, so we got that right there. We got that right there. We can have thermal clothing. Or we can have diving gear. And that's okay. Right, so turn this on. Hey. Okay. Really slow. Very, very slow. It seems like it's getting faster. Right, okay, that's good. Um, so we actually want those to be on sticky as well. So W and S is going to be on sticky. Uh, up and down is going to be on sticky as well. W and S is the throttle. Yep. Is that W and S? Yep. So W and S is the throttle. And up and down is the clutch. Okay. So with that being the case, if we actually decided... That this would go all the way to 3 to 1. Um, we might have a chance here. So drag this all the way backwards. That's good. Spawn it in there. There we go. Nicely done. Ow. <laughs> Ow. But that's okay. All right. Sit in the seat. Uh, turn it on. Throttle it all the way up. And go. This is as fast as it goes. Unbelievable. Right, well, let's work on the rest of it instead then. So, um, what is that? Electric not connected. The what? What? What is that saying? Electric not connected. The what? The battery? It is connected. They're, all of the electricity is connected. Um, okay, unless it means the actual, like, dial thing, uh, but that's okay for now. Right, so, uh, what I actually wanted to do was I wanted to put some seats in, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just go ahead and put the seats on there. Seat, here we go. We're just going to shove these on here. So you can actually do some missions with this thing, and it would be completely fine. Attach those in, go ahead and grab a seat, put it on there. And bish bash bosh, we got a bunch of seeding. 
Nice. Yeah, I like this. This is good. This is very nice. Okay, that's good. And we'll leave it just like that. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and give it some paint. Just a tiny bit of paint. And hopefully it'll look pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go with like a greeny color for the deck. There we go. I think that looks nice. Uh, we're going to leave most of it white, I think. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Um, the outside, if we go with green. Does that look weird? Does that look strange? I think that actually looks alright. I have like a green boat. Like an army boat, kind of. Um, that's okay, good. Do that, do that, and do this, and this. And that to me looks, looks alright, I suppose. Um, yeah. I guess it's not really an army boat though, is it? But anyway, we can actually change that color to anything. So if we wanted it to be blue, we could just do that. And in fact, that itself looks awesome. We're gonna go with blue. We're gonna keep the interior green, the floor. And we're just gonna leave it like that, I think. Yeah, so we've got a boat that works. Um, which is pretty nice. I don't know really, well, I don't really know how to make it faster, uh, but I think what we've got here is pretty cool for, what, half an hour's worth of work? Maybe a little bit longer? I like it. I think it's awesome. Um, right, well, the last thing that I'm going to do in this video is we're going to add a bunch of dials. We'll see how quickly it goes, uh, and then we'll, I guess, leave it there. So we're going to do... Oh, I can't put the dials where I wanted the dials because the things are in the way. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's interesting. Well, I can fit them here, so we'll put a dial there. We'll put a dial there. Okay. We'll fill those in. We'll do the same thing up here. More dials. There we go. Alright. And that's fine. So, middle one is speed. This one is fuel. This one is battery. Battery. There we go. Uh, this one and this one, I don't know. Um, we'll just attach all of those together. We obviously don't have any lights at the moment as well. We need lights, um, but that's fine. So fuel, we don't actually have a thing. Speed, we don't have a thing. Battery, we do have a thing. There we go. All right, so in the fuel tank, we need to have a fluid meter. Uh, wherever that may be. Where is it? Where is it? That's a spawner. This is the meter. Oop. There we go. Now we got the meter. We can attach that to there. So level to there. Um, we can do other things too. We need a speedo that can go literally just here. Uh, a speedo, linear speed meter, can go right there. Blue. Boop, there we go. Awesome sauce. That'll go to the middle one. Uh, what else do we need? There must be something else, right? Oh, I'm going to paint this too. Hold up. Ba -ba 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 -bum. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. I actually think this looks amazing. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, we got the battery, we got the speed, we have the fuel, so I guess we'll leave it like that for now, uh, and we'll take it for a drive. Yeah. Alright, so currently it goes seven, and actually this is decent, I think. Is it nine? It's going nine. Yeah. Alright, cool. So this is supposed to be like a relaxing boat kind of thing. Uh, you should be able to take it from one place to another place completely fine. And the fuel it uses is extremely minimal. <laughs> like, very, very low, actually, the consumption. Uh, so this would actually be decent in rogue mode. At least to begin with, I think. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, well, anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoy videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will see you guys again in the next one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. That was an awful, awful outro.